Hey gardeners, Green Thumb Garden back with an update. So we let about three days pass, I do believe. We let three days pass and we are going to do an update on the garden. So we'll go to the first thing because this is going to look new, but it's actually just the strawberries that we had in one of these things. But we've moved it to a whiskey barrel type container and as you can see they're doing really good now they got moved yesterday and again while watching another video we learned that we may not see any a yield from this first year and these are ozark beauty strawberries over here we're we got our spinach we're doing all right we got a little a couple little more sproutlings coming up our leaves here got little leaves so we look like we're doing pretty good um, with the spinach. And since I'm on this side, we'll go ahead and look at our tomatoes. Now these bad boys have been just getting bigger and bigger. Um, and again, this is a hybrid Goliath tomato bush. It's a bush tomato. So bush Goliath hybrid tomato is what it is. We have quite a bit of flowers starting to open up on here. Got our cluster of flowers there. Let's see if I can... There we go. And this is the little tomato that we had. As you can see, we'll go over here to the peppers. Now, remember, we were trying to decide if we wanted to take the bell pepper off of this yellow bell pepper plant because the plant was sending all of the... Um, energy to that one bell pepper this plant did not have anything on it it didn't even have what you see here down there so within those couple of days we've got new growth and that's with the pepper coming off but again we've got new growth and we did a little pruning not a whole lot but just to make the pepper plant bush out now we did moving on to the Cajun bell pepper plant we took off two peppers because there was a total of four now the two that we took off we left the other two and they have plumped up significantly that's grown so much but we took two gained three plus a ton of buds and flowers here but our three they're still kind of small there's one um there's two there and the third one i believe i saw it it's somewhere in there but it's three of them <laughs> um but we have flowers down there oh there's three i knew it was somewhere so that's that now remember we had a big bertha bell pepper and we decided to go ahead and completely do a top of this bell pepper because it was all stem, no leaves. So when we topped it, and I know that's topping it late in the season, but we still have a lot of growing season here for them. Um, look at that. That That is just all the new growth coming from this plant. And it's going to bush out, I do believe, even though it's our run, our, our slowest. I believe it's gonna bush out and be a really really good producing plant over here to our last pepper in the barrel it's our red bell pepper now we started off with two peppers but I don't know if any anyone noticed this pepper was continuously getting bigger and the other one was not so we took the other one off we did a little pruning and if you can see in the you can see it has been doing a little bit of bushing out at the bottom as well so I think that this plant is gonna do great also um, now moving over to my ghost pepper plant which I'm over excited about because I now have two baby budding peppers um, let me see if I can get in there you want to put your hand in there and move some leaves back for me please uh see if i can get in there and look in uh so there you go there's one i know that doesn't look too good you can't really see there you go 
there's yeah that looks bad there it is a little bit better um there you go there's one and then there's one on the opposite side right there so we have a total of two ghost pepper form pepper peppers forming and maybe I want to say about four or five opened flowers and then the rest are buds but we'll keep checking in on this guy um, anybody out there that's been planting ghost pepper plants can, if you can chime in and tell me how long it took since planting them to even see peppers that'd be awesome now to the cucumbers they are still growing we again you guys got to see the update of them being moved and they are doing great we have already gotten quite a bit of these guys coming out from this particular plant um, there is another one there and then it's just a, it, it's they're doing really good they are doing good they even got uh, it's more of them coming out of here as you can see don't know if you can see that yep they still have more of these tendrils I guess you would call them coming out of there and those two are still being picked up but yep that is the update of the garden we have started their fertilizer um, I don't know if we started it too late in the game but we definitely did do fertilizer we're using a tomato fertilizer for the vegetables and it does say um, tomato fruits vegetables it lists cucumbers squashes um, I want to say carrots and a couple of other things are on the back but all of the stuff is miracle grow um, organic miracle grow stuff and if I if you can't find the organic um, the organic fertilizer the regular miracle grow fertilizer should work good I just haven't done a lot of mixing the brands yet but as always hit that like button feel free to comment subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell for updated videos green thumb garner signing out